Hello, this video is to help build on an understanding of number lines to 1000. Take a look at this number line. It begins at zero and ends with 500. These are important first clues to help us work out what each interval is worth. An interval are steps between the numbers, like these. There are five intervals. We could divide 500 by five to work out what each interval is worth. 500 divided by five equals 100. If we start from zero and count up in 100, we will also reach 500. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So on this number line, each interval is worth 100. Another way to work out what each interval is worth is to use the other clue. In this case, on the first interval, there is a 100. And if we carry on adding 100 for each interval, we will also end up at 500. Whatever way you choose to solve this problem, label each interval to check you are correct. Here we have another number line. Again, make sure you look at the start and end number. In this case, it starts with zero and ends with 1000. Again, there are two extra clues given, 100 on the first interval and 400 on the fourth interval. It's important to count all the intervals from zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 intervals. So we can use a division calculation. 1000 divided by 10 equals 100. So each interval is worth 100. Let's check that and see if it fits with the numbers already given. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 and 1000. Yes, it works. Now, the next number line is a bit different. We need to be mindful that not all number lines will have 10 intervals going up in 100s. The starting number is zero, and at the end, the number is 1000. In this case, there are only five intervals, which is different from the previous number lines we have seen. We can use the division calculation 1000 divided by five equals 200. So each interval represents 200. The other clue is the second interval has 400, which is a multiple of 200. Let's check. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. It works. The number line is very different because it does not start with zero, but still ends with 1000. There are five intervals. First, work out the difference between the end and the first number. In this case, 1000 take away 500 equals 500. Now we can do a division calculation. 500 divided by five intervals equals 100. So each interval should be worth 100. And we can check with the second interval, which is 700, to see if this fits. 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1000. It works. This number line is different again. It does not start with zero and does not have an end number. In this case, it would be best to use a number clue in the middle to help. In this case, 850. How many intervals are there between the first number, 800, and the middle number, 850? In this case, there are five intervals. Then work out the difference between 850 and 800, which is 850 take away 800 equals 50. Then we can use a division calculation to work out the value of each interval. 50 divided by five equals 10. So each interval must be worth 10. Let's check. 810, 820, 830, 840, 850, 860 and so on. Pause the video now and review some of the top tips below. I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching and bye for now.